Welcome and today we are going to download the NHS app from our iPhone. So from our main screen, yours may look different but most will look like this. We are going to select the blue icon with an A symbol and that's our app store. So we open up to the main screen and at the top search bar we are going to search for NHS app and then we're going to press the blue search button down in the right hand corner. So there are a few different apps but the one we're going to select is NHS app and that's for accessing NHS services in England. On my phone you can see that there is a little cloud with an arrow which means I have downloaded this app before but on your screen if you've never downloaded this app before you will have a blue button that says get. So we're going to select that button and we're going to download the app. Once it's downloaded, the blue get button will change to an open button and we're going to go back to the main screen and we're going to select our app from our home screen. Depending on how many apps you have on your phone, you may need to swipe across. And then you'll see from here that you have the NHS app. So we're going to select that one. And that takes us to our main screen. So this has several features. There is a white button that says get health advice and that will take you into an advice section so you can get advice about coronavirus, search conditions and treatments or use NHS 111 online. We're not going to use any of those features today. We're going to press the back button on the left and we are going to select the big blue button that says continue with NHS login. So this will tell you that this is not the NHS COVID-19 app and to use this service you must be registered with a GP surgery in England and you must be aged 13 years and over. If you are 13 to 15 years of age a parent will need to consent to you using the app. So we're going to press the green continue button and on this screen you're going to have to enter an email address. If you don't have an email address already there are plenty of free to use providers that you can sign up with very easily for an email address. For the purposes of this one I'm going to use a random email address. Once you've entered your email address, we're going to press the green continue button. Now it's going to ask you if you want to set up a new NHS login. That is what we want to do today. So we're going to press the green continue button on the left hand side of the screen. This will tell you what you need, so you will need approximately 5 to 10 minutes of your time, but it doesn't matter if it takes longer than that. They will also need some personal information, so they're going to ask for your name, your NHS number if you know it, your date of birth and your postcode. You will also need a mobile phone number where you can receive SMS messages. Once you've read that, press the green continue button on the left hand side. This is now going to ask you to create a password. We want this to be really safe. So it needs to be eight or more characters with one capital letter or more, but you could also add numbers and special characters if you feel that that would help. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to enter a random password. you will also be agreeing to the terms of use. This screen is going to tell me that my password is incorrect and that's fine. Make sure that your passwords match otherwise you won't be able to go any further and that is as far as I can go in this app. Thank you for listening.